Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is the first episode of a multi-part tutorial on Studio One version 5 of PreSonos. You don't need any previous knowledge for this tutorial. Just give me 20 minutes of your time and I'll show you how to produce your first beat in Studio One. Have fun! After opening Studio One the first time, it should look like this. We simply click on New Song and here we find some templates. Sometimes they can be inspiring, but in our case we start with an empty song, so we activate Empty Song and say OK. All right. The most important button in this program is for sure <laughs> the play button. So let's click on the play button and immediately we see the cursor is moving over our timeline that goes from left to right. We see here the seconds of our timeline and here the bars and beats. So this is bar 7, bar 8, 2, 3, 4, 8, uh, 9. Yeah. And we can hear this bars and beats, especially the beats, if we activate the metronome. So now you hear the quarters of every bar. Uh, if you don't hear this, let's use the stop button to stop the uh, metronome again. Uh, if you don't hear this, you should go in your preferences, go to audio setup and check your sound card, your playback audio device. Okay, um, let's go back to come to the beginning of the song. We click again the stop button. Um, but instead of using the play and the stop button, there's a much, much faster way. You can start and stop with the space key of your keyboard. So pressing the first time is play, pressing the second time is stop. And you can use the zero to come to the beginning of your song. Play, stop, and we come to the beginning. This song is here 4 to 4. The timing is 4 to 4. If you say now, ah, okay, Thomas Foster is from Austria, maybe we should go to 3, 4, because the Wiener Walzer is in a 3 quarter uh, bar timing then you can do this here, but 80% um, of the pop music or 90% of the club music is in 4 to 4, so I'm fine with that. But we can change the tempo. If you want to produce a hip-hop song or a ballad, uh, then maybe 90 is a good tempo, it's a slow tempo. Uh, pop music is a little bit faster, maybe 100, 110 BPM could be a nice tempo for pop music. If you want to make more electronic dance music, then it's about 125 beats per minute. So maybe house is a little bit slower. Sometimes uh, techno is a little bit faster, like 128. If you want to produce speed metal, you also could go up to 299. Mm -hmm. But for me, this sounds a little bit too stressy right now. I would go to uh, 100 BPM right now, which is a little bit slower, but not too slow. We have to load now an instrument with a drum machine. So there are different kind of tracks. There are audio tracks. On an audio track, you could record uh, your vocal or a guitar. Or, and there are instrument tracks. So we click here on instruments. If you don't see this frame here, you can open it here by clicking on Browse. And now we click on Instruments. Okay, there are different uh, folders. And let's go to the folder PreSonos because here you see all the instruments of PreSonos. The other instruments are more VST plugins. I have a lot of VST plugins here on my system. Maybe you don't have so much if you are new in music production. But you just need a folder of PreSonos. And there are five uh, different instruments. There's a drum machine called Impact. There are two synthesizers called Mai Tai or uh, Mojito. Please don't drink too much of them. And Presence 
is um, some kind of sampler, also like sample one. So let's start with the drum machine impact. Uh, let's drop it into our arrangement. So we click on this drum machine, the impact, and move it somewhere here in our timeline. Immediately, uh, Studio One creates a new track for us and loaded the impact. At the moment, no sounds, no drum sounds are loaded. Everything is empty, but we can change this really easy. We click here where it says default and we scroll down. You see here different uh, sound combination. This is always a collection of drum sounds. Uh, the most of them are called like the music genre that you could make with them. Uh, let's go to future pop. I think that's nice. Uh, if you have a keyboard connected to your system, you also should be able to hear this when you click on them. Uh, if not, don't worry. Uh, we create our sounds with the mouse so you don't need a keyboard to follow this tutorial. To create our first part, we double click here. Let's do this again. I go on delete and I double click here in the beginning of my first track and immediately I have a part over exactly one bar from one to two. To zoom in, we click in this area here. We hold down the mouse while we move down to zoom in or up to zoom out. And you also can move the mouse to left and right to move to left or right. Okay, let's zoom in that we see this bar as good as possible. But as we don't want to work in the timeline, we want to work in the editor, we double click this uh, part, this clip here. And be careful that you make this not on the top because in the top you have this cross here, which is a different function. You can select things with this cross here. Let's go down a little bit more where you have this normal error. And then with a double click, you open the editor. You also could just select it by clicking one time on it and open the editor here where you also opened the browser. By the way, we can close the browser again. Let's open the editor. And we see here immediately our drum editor. But you could change this here. You could move to the piano view, which is good for editing melodies, bass lines or chords. You could also go to the score where you see your notes. Uh, yeah, if you do classical music or you make some notes for an orchestra, maybe this is helpful. For the drums, we go now to the drum view. Okay, we can here with the scroll by scrolling with the mouse, we can go up or down to see the different sounds. You also could do this here with the scroll bar. And if you scroll up to the top, you see the kick and the snare. Let's place a snare drum by making a double click on the 1-2 and 1-4. For better, better understanding, this is one bar. All right. And... Um, we, you see here four quarters. One bar has, because we have here four, four, we have four quarters. One, 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 two, one, three, and one, four. And every quarter has four sixteens. One, two, three, four sixteens. Means the whole bar has 16 sixteenths. And very often, if you make a beat, the sixteenths is the most important. So let's place the kick here at the first beat, we placed a snare on 1, 2 and 1, 4. Let's go here to the beginning by clicking here to bring the cursor to the beginning. And now with the space bar or with the play button, we listen to what we've done. Okay, stop. Uh, we don't need the metronome again, so let's, you can use the letter C to turn it off or you can do it by clicking here 
with the mouse. While we are working on the first bar, we just want to listen to the first bar. And I don't want always to say stop and play again. So what we want to do is to create a loop. We create a loop by going up to this light gray area here where you have the pencil as mouse symbol. And now we move the mouse from the beginning to bar 2 to create exactly a loop of one bar. To activate the loop, we simply click here this loop button here. Now it should be blue. And if we play this now, we're able to hear everything in a loop. Wonderful. Let's close our drum machine, the impact. Let's place a clap on the one fall to make it more interesting. Let's play some more kicks. I would place a kick here, two sixteenths after the one two, and two sixteenths after the one three. Sounds nice. Let's add a hi hat, hi hat one maybe, on the first beat, uh, one eighth later, and another sixteenths. Here, so on one, three, and four, no sixteen, uh, no hi hat on one, two. It should sound like this. Now we can change the volume by changing the velocity. The velocity you see here on the bottom. So let's bring down this second hi hat that we have not so much volume here. You see here the difference. So now we want to copy it. So let's select the two, hold down the option key. Let's leave one empty 16 and place it here. Again, one empty 16 and place it here. And again here. And one more time here. So you always should have two, one is empty, two, one is empty. And this should sound like this. You see how interesting the hi-hat sound because of this different uh, velocity, the different dynamic. Very often you simply have a hi-hat going straight in 8th or 16 notes. I think the one we did sounds more interesting. To come back I use the undo feature that you find here uh, on the edit menu, undo, I, you also can do it with command or string or control set. You go back and bring back our more interesting hi-hat. I like the drums. So the good thing is in this drums that we also have some instruments, some sounds, tonality sounds. You find them on the bottom, so let's scroll down. You can do this also here with this uh, slider here. And now let's listen to that. So if we click on it. Very nice. Let's start with this one here on the, uh, maybe one on the here. Or we start on the two. Uh, let's leave two sixteenths empty, make another one, leave two sixteenths empty and make another one. Nice beat, I like it. So we want to ch make some changes after two bars, four bars. So we need more than one bar. The first thing I will do is to zoom out a little bit here. Now we want to make a copy of this clip here. You can do this with holding down the Alt or Option key and placing a copy here. Or there's a simpler tri trick, you can duplicate it. So let's select it. And now with the D on your keyboard, you can duplicate it as often as you want. Uh, I just go with uh, one duplication, so two bars. Uh, so I make my loop a little longer. And I want to make them to one part. So we select both. I select the first, I hold down the shift key and select the second one. I click on the right key 
on with my mouse or you hold down the control key and now we say merge events you also could do this with the letter g and now we have one clip over two bars and on the very first beat of the first bar let's place this vocal sample here on the first beat and we also want to have a nice sound on the two let's listen i like this fx snip but you hear the main accent is not at the beginning it's coming a little bit later because there's a reverse sound ship uh, yeah <laughs> you know what i tried to say uh, so we don't place it on the two we place it 116 earlier and now let's see what is happening what if Finding the perfect sound, loops and samples for your latest production is as easy as finding the perfect hotel for a weekend trip to Berlin, Ibiza or Miami? Now you can! With Mutant, the new online search engine for high quality sounds, which despite of your favorite hotel are free, as we don't have to make the beds after you left. You can find everything from modern drum beats to crystal clear percussion. From deep basses, cool vintage keys and funky brass. Just go to mutant.com, search for the sound you're looking for, listen to your search result and then immediately download the sound files without login and without credit card. In addition to a standard text search, you can use the drop-down menus and combine them. For example, synthesizer and 128 BPM, guitars and G minor, Orchestra and Cinematic. So, what are you waiting for? Mute Chat. It's time to make music.